hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today my topic for this video is the python control flow and in this particular video i am going to discuss the uh, conditional statements like the if conditions and the loops like for loop by loops with break statement with continue statement and pass statement so let me quickly start with the if conditions so you can see here this is the syntax of if conditions if you write the if condition so here are the uh, if then we have the conditions if we have the requirement to write a if loop and this condition basically the a boolean expressions and if this condition is true then the code under the if condition is executed and here we are using the white space as i discussed in the previous videos lectures how we use the indentations in python to define the code block so here we are using the white space in uh, to so that uh, python, python compiler is no this code is under the if conditions and if this condition is false then compilers go to the else and the code under the else block is executed and this is the workflow diagrams so here as shown in workflow diagram also you can see here if this condition is true then the code under the if condition is executed otherwise in case of false, then it move to the compiler is moved to the other codes. And so here are the like the definition of the conditions, as I explained earlier. Also, like the condition is a Boolean expressions. If condition is true, then code under the condition is executed. And if condition is false, then code under the else section is executed. So this is about the if loop and you can see here, this is the code. And here in this code, you can see we are checking a string is a palindrome or not. And here we are basically getting the input from the user in the runtime. And then we convert those string into the lower case. You can see here, we are using the dot lower functions as I discussed into the previous uh, videos, how we use the lower method in string to convert the string into the lower case and then we are using a reverse methods from the string to, uh, to reverse the string and if our reverse string and our actual string is equal then we say okay this is the palindrome otherwise it is, it is not a palindrome and after the lowercase and reverse, then we are converting our string into the list with the help of this. You can see here, and this one also we discussed during the Python casting in our previous video. So here you can see, and now we are using the print statement. And this print statement, this code is under the if condition. You can see here, this is the if condition, and this code is under the if section. This is the if code. And if above condition is true, then this particular code is executed. And in case of above condition is false, then the code under the else is executed. And let me run this code. So let me first check. Let me provide the positive values like the Nitin. And if we reverse the Nitin, then also you can see here Nitin is Nitin in case of if we reverse the Nitin string. And this is a palindrome. So this is working. And let me check with another inactive example. Let me check with my name is Devrat. Okay, you can see here, this is no palindrome. So this way we can use the if statement. And here you can see, oh, you can also see we are using the single line comment also so, so that any user can aware, okay, what, what's going in this particular code. And let's move to the for loop. In case of for loop, suppose we have the requirement to check the element in a sequence and we need uh, like the, we need to perform particular action on all element into the sequence for example in the list in the tuple or in the string or in the dictionary set then we use, generally use the for loop and how the for loop is work like the for loop each item in the sequence and basically for loop is checked the last item is reached or not in case of last element is not reached then the code under the uh, under the for loop is executed and then again for uh, again the same code is executed for next element up to the last element and once the last element is reached like after the last element then then uh, the compiler is exit the for loop 
as shown here in this uh, workflow diagram. And here are also like the uh, definition of for loop, like the for loop is used for iterating over a sequence, like collection data sets, for example, list tuples or the dictionary also we can use the for loop and set strings. So this, uh, this kind of uh, requirement, we can use the for loop. And here are the example. This is the toy example of the for loop. And you can see here, here basically we are first we are we are creating a list, and in the list we are providing uh, strings like the first element is the optimal, then X, XAI, then data science, then machine learning, and we are executing the simple for loop here like the for loop item item basically the item we are checking under the list, and in in is the membership operation. As discussed in the previous video, we discussed about the operations under the Python's and in basically checking the membership like that this particular item is exist under the sequence or not. So item in the list and then we are printing the all item one by one and here you can see the output like it's printing the all item one by one first is printing the optimal then XAI then data science and machine learning. So this way for loop is work. And so here you can see here we are using the nested for loop. Uh, as you can see here, this is the for loop one, then for loop two and under this, and this is the if condition one, then if condition second. So here we are using the nested conditions to check a number is prime or not. And in the for loop, you can see here, here basically we are as shown in previous example also like here we are using the item and we are checking the membership. If we are using the in operation here, membership operation, and we are using here range. Range basically a data type to generate a list from this is the starting of the list element like from zero to hundred minus one. So this this generated list from one to ninety uh, sorry zero to ninety nine. And now we are interested into the prime number also. That's why we are putting one if condition here. If the num uh, if the item is greater than one then this code is go under this for loop and again you can see here we are again using a for loop and here we are again generating a list with the help of range function and this list is start from the two and up to the item item from the previous for loop and if the item is divided by means element from the previous uh, for loop is divided by our new item then we say okay this is not the prime number and then we are breaking the this loop uh, basically we are terminating the this loop yeah we will discuss the break continue and pass below in below section so here here let me proceed with the four and if conditions so in case of if condition is not true then we go to the else and we print okay this is the prime number so here you can see here we are printing the prime number from zero to hundred so these are the overall prime number and let me move to the while loop and in case of while loop basically in while loop also we define a condition with while uh, while keyword and if the condition is true then the code under the while loop is executed if condition is false then the compiler is exit from the while loop and uh, this is the definition of the while loop you can see here while loop is a python to iterate over a code block as long as condition is true. And specifically, if we don't know what number of iterations, what time of iterations we required, then we generally prefer the while loops because we don't know how many number of element is present into the sequence or how many iterations we require, then we use the while loops. And as shown in here in the workflow diagram also, and let me show you and here also i'm checking the a number is prime or not and uh, similar to previous example from 0 to 100 range and this is the uh, this is the variable i defined to control the while statement and this is the keyword for the while uh, while loop and this is the statement and uh, like the i is less than 100 then this loop is executed and once I is equal to 100 or greater than his 100, once I is reach 100 or greater than 100, then this loop is terminated, is stopped. The compiler is exit from this loop. And under the while loop, we are using the for loop. 
and this code I already explained in the above sections. Like we define here the uh, four four keywords. Here we are using the four keywords to define a for loop. And this is the element we are interested into the this list. And this is the membership operation. I already discussed this to in the four section. And then we have the if conditions here. And if like the element is divided by any numbers then we break the loop here again we are using the break and else this is a prime number so this way we can use the while while loops and in case to control the while loop to move to the one iteration to next iterations we are using the i and then we increment the i value so that we can move to the next iterations and if we 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 skip this uh, this uh, i and we skip this code to increment i from the previous iteration then our loop is going to the infinite mode so it is the most important part while defining an i loop so while defining any while loop we uh, we use this uh, this code to control the while loop and here also you can see here this output like that is printing all prime numbers from 0 to 100 and let me move to the break continue and pass so break basically break is used in the python to control the loops like the loops in the for loop while loops for example we have the requirement to skip the loops or to break the loops then we use the break loops like the to terminate loops and here you can see in this uh, workflow diagram also this is the for loop and in the for loop like that we have the requirement to to run the code on every element of the sequence and then we have the if conditions and if condition is true then uh, we use the, here the break statement and once the break statement is executed then uh, then this loop is terminated so next move to the continue so in case of continue keyword is used to end the current iteration under the for loop or while loop is basically end the current iteration and the control is transferred to the top of the loop and then the next iteration is start as shown in workflow diagram also like this is the for loop then we have the if condition and if this condition is true and in case we use the uh, continue statement here then the control is again go to the top and the next iteration is start so this way we use the con uh, continuous statement and in case of pass statement once we execute a pass statement then in case of compiler or the backend nothing is happened this is basically is used uh, to handle the errors to handle the ex exceptions while running the empty code because we have the requirement to run a empty code under the if conditions under any class loop or function then we generally use the fast statement and as shown in diagram also like nothing happened like this is the for loop then we have the if condition and if this condition is true then we use a pass and then the pass is uh, in case of pass statement is executed then nothing happens next code is executed so here are the example also you can see here here we are using the for loop and this is the same syntax i discuss above then we are using the here if conditions this is the if if keywords then this is the conditions you can see here this is the condition and in this condition we are checking if item is less than one then the code under the if condition is executed and basically we are printing those items which is less than one and then we are using the pass statement and as i explained the pass statements like once the pass statement is executed then nothing happened and then we are using the if else this is the new things you see here where earlier we use the if else but here is the combined if else if we have the like we have the requirement to write the multiple conditions under the if loops and so we use the if else in that case and you can see here this is the if then if else basically this is the nested uh, if conditions and you can see here here we are checking if a item is greater than seven or item is a even number then this code is executed and here you can see here one thing also you can see we also use here the uh, and and is the logical operator as we discussed in the previous section or previous video and once this code is executed then we have the break statement 
in this section and once this break statement is executed this basically terminate the this loop this loop is stopped once this uh, code is executed once item is greater than seven or even number so if we if we see like that we create a list from zero to nine and the item which is greater than seven is eight and also is an even number and in else you can see here in the else we have the again print statement list and then we have the continue continue statement and continue statement as i told you like the continue statement basically start the new iteration control is transferred to the for loop in the top of the for loop and then start the new iteration and if we execute this same way this work you can see here first for the zero uh, first section this section is executed and you can see here pass statement is executed then after the uh, 0 1 2 3 4 for these all items continue statement is executed and after each execution then the control is transferred to the for loop and next iteration is start as i explained to the workflow diagram also how the continue statement is work so here are the twist once the break statement is executed our loop is terminated like in our list we have the element from 0 to 9 as per as range is generated a list from 0 to 9 but here we are only printing up to the 8 because break statement is terminate the loop and here you can see this once this condition is true so in case of 8 like the 8 is greater than 7 and also the even number so this statement uh, this condition is true now this code is executed okay this is printed and once the break statement is executed so this break statement basically terminate the loop so this is overall about the uh, conditional workflow into the python so in this video i explain how we can use the for loop if loop while loop nested for loop nested if conditions and also how we can utilize the break continue and pass to skip and pause to terminate a loop so this way we can use uh, this overall condition statement into the Python. So thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.